Lana, the firefly in the room. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new today. I have prepared a pretty busy video for you but at the same time this is something that I'm really excited about because it took me it took me a while to finish this video off so I'm really glad that I can finally talk with you about it and just bring it on to the world you know so long story short I live in a pretty chilly area I live in Eastern Europe and winters in here are cold they're very very dark we have maybe like six to seven hours of daylight during the you know the coldest days of the winter so it's not perfect for tropical plants that i love to collect as you can tell from my background and i need to find some kind of solution so since the summers in here are pretty hot and tropical most of my plants were standing in my balcony i am looking that way because i am sitting in front of my balcony window so i can see it <laughs> so i had most of my cacti there whole shelf of cacti and some more plants out there you know just chilling catching all of the sunlight and all of that but right now since it's october once again chilly weather is coming back to town and i need to bring them back home inside because they won't be able to survive our chilly nights here so that's exactly where i started this office makeover today i will be showing you off how i put like 95% of my houseplant collection in a very small space but this is like this is not even a full room to be honest as you can tell in here is the rest of the room it's actually a closet that you can see in the background and it's put the other way so this is like the back of my closet and in front of it I put some shelves and all of that so what happened first I bringed the whole shelf of cacti that you can see over here and it was um, it was a lot of work to be honest it was a lot of work let me show you a little piece of that from the past Vatlana, like from two weeks ago okay so here is the overview of all of the plants i have in the balcony i also have some here on the windowsill so not sure what i'm gonna do with these ones this scares me honestly but this one seems to be fine. I just want to take the shelving and take it to my office, as you can tell. My office is pretty crammed with plants. I think I have in here maybe like 80% of all of my collection with windowsill and all of that. So not sure how that will work out, but let's probably just play around and see because honestly, I think I want to put it in this wall. So because there is like no free space for that. Yeah, yeah. Baloo, any comments? Any comments? Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so I just talked with my fiance and we think we'll take this ugly looking cabinet out of here and against that wall we'll put that shelf. So there will be, you know, twin shelves next to each other and I think this should look so cool in my background of the videos and I mean this long time ago should have been gone you know but we're just you know saving money and cannot just change it so i think we will throw away that one take this one over here and this space will be free for the plants so let's start with taking all of these plants out from this both shelvings This is done, time to take these babes out.
As you can tell, I already put all of the plants together. Yes, it took me a while. And finally, I feel like I'm pretty happy with the result. Yes, I can still play around with all of the plants you can see in the background on my shelving and, you know, just swipe one or other. But mostly I am very satisfied with the final result. And it would seem like, okay, well, you did all you could do and let's just wait for the winter, right? But no, heck no. Since I want my plants to be happy, I want them to stay compact and not lean over and, you know, start to grow that leggy foliage that nobody likes and small leaves because of the not enough sunlight and all of that, I need to find some kind of solutions. And this is where today's video sponsor comes in. Today's video is sponsored by Mother's Grow Lights and you have heard me talking about them on my channel before and honestly I looked up last time I was filming this company sponsored video was one year ago and I actually still have this grow light from my previous video you can see by the dust you can see by the dust on it I'm using it a lot it's always out here and whenever I have you know darker days I always turn it on and just chill about my plants but the problem was that I have a lot of plants, my collection grew throughout the years and you know what, one grow light is not enough. So that's when I was so excited when mother actually contacted me, I mean not my mother technically but the company mother and offered me to once again send me some plant spectrum 32 grow lights and just help me out in this very dark season out here in Lithuania. So let's talk a little bit more about Mother and Plant Spectrum 32. Plant Spectrum 32 is actually my favorite grow light. I have been owning it for a year and I highly, highly recommend it. I love that it has full spectrum, so it means that it mimics the sunlight and that's what I need the most at this moment because for at least four months from now we won't see the sunlight that often it will be like you know a luxury for us so me knowing that my plants still will be able to have and receive full spectrum and in that way have you know the biggest potential of growing blooming and doing you know plenty stuff that what calms me down and makes me feel prepared for the winter. What is really fun that I know this is not just a simple light, this actually comes from a collaboration of universities and biologists and I know that these people worked really hard to put together something really special, very good quality and something that I know I can be so calm of living at home. Actually, fun fact, I live in a very old apartment building. If you was not able to see from my intros, I live in old apartment, actual Soviet apartment building area. So honestly, most of my power sockets are not working in whole apartment. I think we have only three power sockets that are working. So whenever I would need to go to the office, you know, to work and leave my plants home with grow lights on, I would not do it because I never trusted my electricity in here. I mean, I have no idea when was the last time somebody checked on all of, you know, the power, you know, stuff in here. So I never trust it, especially because I am very messy over water and sometimes I spill the water out. Sometimes I overwater plants and from the bottom of the pots, the water will leak to the surfaces. And when the lamp is standing really close to that area, I was not really trusting myself because I knew something, which I because I knew something bad could happen and I just I just did not want it to take a risk. And actually grow light What's your baby? An actually plant spectrum grow light was something that made me confident about it because these lights are waterproof so whenever I have a humidifier around it or spill some water I don't even care you know <laughs> the lamp is made out of recycled aluminum this is made perfectly for making your lamp stay a little bit more chill and this aluminum model is specifically designed to keep your lead chips cold baby stop flipping crying current maximum life of this light is given to be about 50 thousand hours so if we would take like 16 hours a day of light being on that would be equal for at least eight years of grow light life expectancy which is like insane these days we 
do not get stuff especially electronic stuff that lasts that long i mean iphones and all of that proves that these days electronics are made to last for about a couple years and that's what's really impressive in my opinion i mean i had this plant spectrum 32 for a year right now and nothing changed it works completely the same as it was in the first day and that's what really feels really rewarding especially when you you know put in money for the slide and you just see the results are awesome plus not only the lead board itself last eight years all of the aluminum profiles all of the fixtures are made to last forever because they're not using any kind of paint so it won't chip off during the years and they're not using any glue so that could loosen up throughout the year so everything is made to last forever and the only thing that you will need to change is the lead board itself after eight years and it costs only about 20 percent of the whole you know light like plant light cost which means that you will need to spend only 20 percent of the same amount after eight years i mean not only you will be saving your own money you also are saving the planet from all of the ways that could be you know put out after not reusing lights you already have and all of that so i think this is such such a beautiful thing about this light so if you already are curious actually these grow lights come in two sizes i personally love the bigger ones as you probably know from my channel the bigger the better everything for me so i have these grow lights plant spectrum 32 right and i have three of them right now one of them is one year old two are new and today i will be fixing them up in my plant office because this is the time actually i'm not even sure if the quality of this video is perfect because it's really foggy outside and cloudy but today i will take you along on this plant office upgrading the uh, oh my gosh video <laughs> so these lights come in two sizes i chose the bigger one you can have twice smaller one 16 inches light and not only you can put it as i am using one just simply as you know as a stand because i love the most to use them like that because they take like the very big amount of your room not only you can use them as standing you know vertically you can also fix them up horizontally and this is something that i want to play around with so i asked mother lights not only to send me lights itself i also asked for a couple wall mounting fixtures and i think i might play around with my shelves and somehow try to put the lights out there because this is like where the 60 percent of my collection is and this is where i want like the max amount of light especially since the dark season is coming and i will be filming videos here these grow lights will also help me to have a better quality of the videos and you will be able to see so much better all of my plants all of the dust on my plants which is perfect right <laughs> so this is a grow light that i'm really excited to talk about and also if you're a little bit nerdy if you love to work with technologies and plants together mother company actually have whole app for the people who like to use technologies you can go over there to the library go through different species of plants and see how much of light they might need throughout the day or how far the light you should fix from the plant itself and all of that so a lot of very good information out there in this app so you can also go ahead and check it out the app is completely free it's available for ios for android so just give it a go i think this should be such a fun you know just to play around and get more plenty information into your brain but i think that's about enough it's a lot of mumbling and i think it's time to go to the business so i have the light i have the wall mountain fixture and probably let's open one up you can you will be able to see what comes in the box and then we'll go ahead and fix these lights up because it's getting darker as i am speaking and i do not like that so Look at this cute box. Oh my God, just look. So, so nice. Recyclable materials, all of that. Let's see how the wall mountains are looking. So, open up the box. Will you grow plants with me? <laughs> so, as you can tell, very, very simple packaging. Nothing too crazy. We have a couple wall mountains in the shape. I wanted to say like uh, a toilet seat. Let's probably not say that. <laughs> also have a couple stickers and four oh my gosh how they're called bolts bolts is the bolt in english so yeah everything you might need for the fixture so easy nothing like too crazy especially if i know so many plant uh, lovers and collectors who are not really into 
very difficult stuff. They want to, everything to be as easy as possible. And that's where the plant spectrum also has a very big plus. Okay, right now I'm taking the lamp off. So it comes in this beautiful packaging, fancy schmancy pants, right? We're taking it out of that bam shabam simple box. Open the box, right? Is it the right way? Yes. We're opening the box. Ooh, there is another box. <laughs> okay, so immediately you can see the whoop. Immediately you can see the light inside. This is where the magic happens. Oh my gosh, I love this light so much and I'm already so excited. Ah! So we have the light, we have this, what it's called? Oh my gosh. Okay, cable. <laughs> Brain not working today, but anyway, we have a cable, we have beautiful light prepared. Let me put it on the table carefully, right? Then we also have some stuff in here. We have a bag full of goodies. Let's open it up. In the first bag comes lots of different power sockets that you might use, right? Here in Europe, we are using this one. So I will work with that one. We also have that. We also have a couple zip, zip, what is it, zip locks? An instrument, very serious instrument, couple more bolts and couple more stuff for fixing. Fixing, right? We also have another mystery bag. In this mystery bag we have power socket. Very easy, DIYable, right? Bam, shabam. Let's put it in. Boom, ready to go, right? So this is where you just take apart from the packaging and there is nothing too difficult. I mean, I myself can do it. If I can do it, everybody can do it. So I take this, I take that, I put in the head, right? We already have bam shabam attached. And lastly, from the light, very dangerous trick, from the light you add it out here. That's it, your lamp is ready to go. Can you imagine? That's all the work you have. Last thing is for you to decide how you want to put it. Either you will use a stand as I am doing right now, right? So simple stand that you can attach with a simple bolt. That's it, to the lamp and it's ready to go, right? Or you can use wall mountains and attach it to the plant shelves and etc. By the way, I did not mention, since these uh, lamps are water resistant, you can put them directly into your greenhouses, into your IKEA cabinets and stuff like that because it won't damage the lamp at all, which is like so cool, right? But anyway, without further ado, I have everything prepared. Let me call my fiance for a little bit of help and let's see where I will put these lamps and then I will show you the end result. Let's go. So I just finished putting all of my lights together. I have three lights in the space and actually I think that might be even too much. These lights are so intense and they're so strong. It actually reaches my other shelf out here as well. I mean, I will film a couple footages for you just to see what it looks like during the night. So it will be a little bit more obvious how strong these lights are and how great they are. Oh my gosh, this is such a good thing. I actually, the one that I had for a year right now, I decided to keep it on a stand so I can move it around since 
both of these lights are very intense i think it might be enough of two of these to have in this space and the third one will go to my other room because in my other room i have more plants of course <laughs> so this is so fun to play around you can mount them you can stand them they are so sleek look at this they fits in so perfectly you are not even i mean this fits so perfectly they're so sleek so nice oh my gosh so not only they're perfect for your plants they're also beautiful in interior it feels like this is really futuristic wall right now and i'm kind of excited about it but yeah ah okay this is like always the toughest part of the season of the upcoming cold season because i need to push all of my plants into one small space and you know what i think i flip and rocked it i think all of the plants look perfect in their spots and i have some free spots for the new plants so that's like always the best best thing to know when you bring all of your plants back home and you still have some extra space it's like jackpot <laughs> But anyway, this will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoy me playing around with my plants and, you know, the technology is just to put everything together and have this cool space. I mean, maybe I should turn on the lights. It's so intense right now. Oh my gosh, can you see the difference? So cute and so perfect for the whole shelf. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous. Of course, I'll shoot a little bit more in the dark, but for now, mm, 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 I think this is the place where, where I will spend the most of my time because this is so cozy out here right now. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for Mother for sponsoring today's video. And I highly recommend to give it a go for these beautiful lights. Once again, I'm using them for over a year right now and I do not have any complaints. Highly, highly recommend. Honestly, just give them a go and you won't be disappointed. And before leaving you with this video, of course, we need to learn another language lesson, right? Okay, random. Since I put my lights on the wall, let me teach you how to say wall in Lithuanian and in Russian. So if you want to say wall in Lithuanian, you need to say siena. Once again, siena. And if you want to say wall in Russian, you need to say stina. Once again, stina. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this makeover. Do you like my new background? How these two shelves are working together, you know, and all of that. I'm very curious to know how do you feel about this new space in the background. And please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more plenty content and hopefully I'll see you in my next one.